Welcome back to another episode. I am your host, Matt Powers of the Power Sports Memorabilia Show. Thank you again for joining me. If you're new to the show, please visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. See all the fun stuff I got over there. And then also give me a follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. That's where I post all the uh, fun deals on the Instagram stories. So be sure and check that out. All right, so in about another week or 10 days here, we have the uh, Drew Locke signing coming up, and I picked up a couple white mat uh, helmets to get done, and it got me thinking about doing a just kind of a review on the helmet for you, and then also talk a little bit about pen color choices. I know everybody's all excited about pen color choices on every single helmet, and I will tell you what my plan is for this one, maybe make some suggestions and then kind of show you some options and let you decide what you want to do because, hey, it's your helmet. I'm not the government here. I'm not going to try to tell you what to do. So let's go ahead and move along here. Let's talk about this white matte helmet here. You're going to see I've got a Denver Broncos one, obviously, for Drew Locke. And it's a speed helmet. It's a replica. They do make these in the Authentics, so if you want to jump up to that, uh, you can always do that. Of course, the replica here has none of that padding on the inside. Everything on the outside is the same thing as the authentic. It's got the speed holes, of course, there. Kind of funny with the uh, this helmet here because the Broncos logo is so massive. It kind of runs over the lines a little bit, so it doesn't sit nearly as flat as probably some people would like. But uh, it's not a huge deal to me. But some people have pointed it out uh, You know, in the years I've been doing this. They're kind of picky about those decals sometimes. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's a really nice helmet. It definitely has a matte feel to it, which obviously is really cool when you buy a matte helmet, you know. Um, as far as pen color choices on this thing, I'm going to probably go with black, and I'm going to tell you, tell you why here. Number one is we've been doing uh, different types of colors on pens as far as the industry has for a few years now. And I, I don't know if there's been a bunch of, you know, research done on exactly what these pen colors are going to look like in 15, 20 years, you know. I know the pigmentation is obviously different with every single color there. Uh, you, me personally, I, I, black is always the safest bet when it comes to most everything, you know. And I think on these helmets, while orange is kind of a fun and kind of hip color, I guess you could say, or you could even do kind of a bronco blue, I guess. Uh, you know, I'm probably going to stick with black. It's just kind of a, a color that you really can't go wrong with. It it tends to stay as, uh, you know, the color uh, boldness tends to stay pretty good. And I just don't know about those, you know, oranges and reds and all those funky colors, those yellows and greens, you know, what those are going to look like in, you know, 15, 20 years. Um, now, granted, I'm not going to have this helmet in 15, 20 years, but, you know, the customer that buys it, I want them to, you know, have that quality of autograph for as long as possible. Uh, you've se I've seen these Broncos ones again done with the orange, and they look sharp. Don't get me wrong; they they, they probably would uh, be a, a hot seller with that color on there. Is as the autograph definitely stands out pretty good, but the black stands out, you know, just as good. So I'm probably going to stick with the black. I don't think I'm going to do any inscriptions on this Drew Lock helmet. He really, I mean, he really doesn't have any inscriptions that are really <laughs> noteworthy at this point. But uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of excited to get these done. I went with the rep. And here is my process on on thinking about that. It's, it's between going to rep and authentic, and I've talked about this on the show before. Is I always go with a rep if the autograph price is roughly around the same as the helmet or less. So if I'm paying, you know, let's say let's say you're paying a hundred dollars for an autograph, you know, paying you know one fifty or so for a helmet kind of makes sense. Paying three hundred plus bucks for an authentic, unless it's absolutely your favorite favorite guy. Uh, I would probably tend to stay with the reps. That's just my point of view. Now, for example, like on Tom Brady, obviously you're going to be paying more for the autograph than you are for the helmet. So that's where you always want to go with the authentics. But for Drew Locke, I just don't think it's worthy of being, you know, on authentic. Now, if this was a Patrick Mahomes signing, yeah, absolutely. I would have done the authentic. That makes more sense. That's probably what a lot of collectors are going to want. But Drew Locke is just getting started out here. People really don't know what he's going to be like. And I think a replica helmet is uh, definitely very suitable for him. So if you guys got any questions on these white matte helmets, of course, they make them for every single team. Let me know. And I always appreciate you guys listening in. You guys get a chance to visit the website, powersportsmemorabilia.com. Also, you can follow over there on Instagram, at Powers Autographs. See you guys on the next episode.